Hello Touch Designers, this is my first tutorial and today I want to show you, as the title says, a way to switch between cameras inside of the render top. So let's dive deep into what I had in mind first. So this is my project I'm currently working on and uh, follow me up on Instagram if you want to see how it ends up. And uh, so the way it works is that I have two different sets of cameras. So I got the first one here and the second one. So let me just start the project, right? So right now it is switching between the two cameras as we will see in a second. Um, there you go, right? So it switches between this one, which is currently moving thanks to an LFO and the other one, which is just a static camera. There you go. So there is also a different way. This Now it's working with animation, but there's also a different way to make it work with a button. And I'm gonna show you both of them in a second. So let's stop it right there. And let's go back into this other project. So this is a basic touch designer project. As you can see, we got just really, really basic one. We get an SOP with a Thorus, a Geo, three different cameras, a light, a render, RGB key to give us the background the black background and we got a button and an animation and these are the two interesting tools which are gonna help us to make this whole work so the way it works is thanks to this python expression that i found again while browsing the internet so i'm just gonna type it back again uh don't ask me what it does and how it works because <laughs> to be honest i have no idea i just know it works and i can just show it to you right now so let's type it together so we get this can one nope can oops can zero then format now we got int then we got up then out of actually inside of the up we got another one uh let's give it the limit for now because i want to show you two different things actually a few different things limit one and then out of the limit one we go into submission and uh, the one actually sorry the one like this and this should be everything let's see if it works Oops, it's not working because I've not set it the correct way. Sorry, I had to put it as an expression. Okay, there we go. So right now, it is currently working, right? So let's test it. Oops, it's not working. Why is this not working? Because we actually need a second Python expression right here. And it's going to be inside of the maximum parameter. So go into the expression. Let's change this and let's put len ops OPS. Then again, cam oops and cam. Actually, I was wrong. Oops, again. We get this, that, and we close it again. And then we apply the plus one. There you go. All right, now it's working. So we can see right now it's switching between the three different cameras. And um, so yeah, that's basic. That's the really really basics of it. We can now just switch between the three to the three of the cameras. And um, of course, this only works if you have set up the cameras in such a way that they will actually come in order with the name. So be sure to keep attention to that detail. And uh, w a few things that we need to change is the multi-camera in parameter must be on off or to one pass per camera. And every camera that we set up must look at Geo1. Now, it could also be as an, uh, a null one if we have one, like let's say we make a null here we have something like this, it usually works like this. And uh, we go here and let's say we put it as null, uh, null two actually, sorry. Null two, it works in the same way, but 
just use the geo to it's um, a geo one sorry it's much easier for you you don't have to add random operators that you don't need unless of course you necessarily need of this one so this was a way of setting it up now one thing that i was uh thinking about yesterday while speaking to a friend of mine is the count operator the count chop actually has a built-in limit function and yes it actually works so if we say loop minimum maximum uh, we set the value to the zero right now yes and we take this python expression and we copy it inside of the limit maximum right so we give it here this one must be to one otherwise we would have a zero which we don't necessarily have and here we need to change the limit so that it is actually count one so let's put it as count one there you go um this one is referring to this one we actually don't need the limit anymore now we only have this one and it works just as fine so now if i hit the button uh i have an extra camera oh yeah uh, once we are here on the count i've actually noticed that you have to remove this plus one you don't need it anymore for some reason and uh yeah it switches between the three cameras just as fine so i was thinking might there be a way to actually animate this so i don't have to manually press the button every time and by my surprise there actually is we just use the animation comp we go into edit animation here already worked on it so um, let's try and replicate it so i'm gonna delete it i'm gonna add a v1 channel okay we had a v1 channel there you go and now it's already snapped onto uh, values of only one both for x and y you don't necessarily need to do so but in this case i would say it's almost kind of necessary because you don't need those float values you only need the integers so it's much better to use this and um yeah let's set this to one and let's set this all the way to like three okay perfect so the value here increases now and uh, we can close this one we don't need it anymore so what we can do here is change again once more instead of using the count we can use the null that i've set up previously just for you oops i said the ball uh, null one there you go and uh, change the value from here and now when it hits those specific value it will just automatically change so that means that theoretically, if you go into the added animation and you change this curve, uh, of course, check all the tutorials for this because right now I'm not gonna show it to you, uh, but you can, yeah, automate it in different ways and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, before ending up, I want to give some big shout out out there. So the first one is to Noto the Talking Ball because he's the one that made the tutorial of the project that I was that I am currently working on. I want to give another shout out to Billiam Chap or Electronauts. You might know it for that, uh, and this Discord server because it's an amazing community. If you want to join, be sure to check his page and you'll find the link there. And uh, and another shout out, really important shout out to Tiwonku, which is becoming basically a friend right now which really helped me to find some of this stuff, especially thinking of using uh, the limit built inside of the count uh, shop instead of actually using the limit and that's pretty much it if you want to check some other videos and some other projects of mine uh, be sure to check out in the description you find all of my other links and see you next time